welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you everything that I've completed in the month of October 2019. Um, I am working on one currently but fortunately I will not finish it in time for it to be finished in October so I can't include that one in this video. It's far from being done um, and I'm going away to Iceland tomorrow so I will not cut any of it coloured because it's not coming with me and also I'm going to be in Iceland. So anyway, I will show you what I've done. I only did about eight pictures this month um, because I went back to work. So of course now I've got work life. Unfortunately, it's very busy. So um, I don't always get as much time in the evenings um, to do things, but I also get a bit more time at the weekend and have a little bit more time the last few days because half term is this week. So I've had the last few days to do a few, which has been nice. But um, anywho, I will get started. So um, most of the pictures in these books are Halloween or autumn, aut oh that was a weird way to say autumn, or autumnal <laughs> themed pictures um, because I just felt like doing it. So I have, this is the second Disney Kaleidoscopes um, colouring book which I got from Amazon Japan. I'm just going to zoom in a bit more and it had a um, Halloween picture. Now I've done the Halloween mandala in the other one so I decided to do the Halloween mandala in this one this time around. So here it is and this was just a very basic fun one to do um, because you don't have to, well uh, you know you don't always want to do very se serious colourings that are going to take forever and this one I just thought I just want to throw a load of glitter gel pen and stickles at it and that's what I have done. So I have these Prismacolor pencils for Mickey and Minnie and like the house and the pumpkins and the little Mickeys <laughs> um, and then the rest is all gel pen or stickles and then I've got some metallic um, fine tech paint in the background as well and this was so much fun it didn't take very long to do as well which was nice but it was a lot of fun to do because I just really enjoy just having you know picking what gel pens I was going to use and then what stickles I was going to use and I really enjoyed doing this one as basic as it was it was really fun and I really enjoyed it so there's that one I'll put them behind me um, next I decided to finally tackle that Halloween page in Tenderful Enchantments um, so I did <laughs> and it is I think further back than that oh here it is so this one took me a few nights um, like after I finished work a few evenings to finish I would have finished it quicker obviously if I'd had a bit more time but I didn't but it was fine I didn't mind anyway because I still enjoyed doing it and um, it was fun so I used Neo Color 2 for the background um, then I've used Prismacolor pencils for everything else and there's a little bit of um, stickles on the flowers and the little fireflies. I'm not sure if they were supposed to be fireflies but I decided to turn them in, into them and then I realised I probably should have done a glow for this one and I should have done a glow for that one and completely forgot. I didn't mean to, I just kind of forgot about doing it. Um, so I enjoy doing that one, although I'm now very, shall I say, I've had my fill of colouring in pumpkins so I don't want to colour any more pumpkins in for a while. I think this is the problem I find when it comes to Halloween. Like I love like to colour Halloween stuff in and then it will cut to pumpkins and this one how many pumpkins and I'm like I'm bored of colouring pumpkins in now. So anyway, uh, that was a fun one to do. Um, I bought myself the Caran d'Ache Super Colour Pencils this um yeah, at the end of September. The end of October basically is when they came. So um, I decided to try them out in the Disney V True um, colouring book. So I will zoom out because this one's quite a big book. So I decided to test them out in this book. Um, and I did a picture. I did this one of Sleeping Beauty. Which, oh my goodness. <laughs> trying to get this in the frame. It's huge. So I did this one of Sleeping Beauty. And I used the super colours for everything. Apart from this which is obviously 
um, I think Paul Rubens uh, paint is what I used for that but everything else I use that so um, I have seen other people had done this dress with it being half blue half pink and I thought oh that's nice I would like to do that but then I thought no I, w I won't you know I won't do that but then I saw in that, the picture of the fairies and her with her wand that is what they are doing in this picture anyway because in the movie these two have a fight over what colour the dress should be blue or pink and that is what they're doing in this picture anyway. So then I thought, well, you know what? <laughs> I can just do it anyway. I mean, I could have um, done it even though someone else had done it. But yeah, someone else has done it like this before. But I, I decided to do it because the two fairies are... This is what they are doing in the movie, if you watch the movie. This is the what pit they are. Apart from this one, she's like, doesn't care what colour it is. <laughs> but they're like, make it pink. No, make it blue. Um, and I thought that would be quite cool. So I, I did enjoy doing that. And that was quite fun. And coming up with also the other colours for the stained glasses. Because sometimes it's quite tricky to try and think of <laughs> what what colour <laughs> schemes do I want to use for, for the other bits. So um, I did have fun doing that one. And use my Supra colours. So, aha. Uh -huh. Let me take the massive book away. That's the only downside to the V-True book. It is humongous. Right. Now, next. I finally got this book and I wanted it last year but it wasn't going to come in time for Halloween so I ordered it I think at the beginning of September thinking yeah it will come in time it did by about a few weeks so I'm a bit annoyed that I don't understand why Amazon took so long to deliver it because last time when I went to go order it last year it said that it would take a month to dispatch and unfortunately it was already October so by that point so I thought well Halloween be over so with that in mind I thought okay I'll order it end of August, beginning of September, and then it turned out that it, it would was would dispatch within a few days anyway, so I thought, oh, okay, but for some reason they just decided that they didn't want to send me it when they should, so, um, yeah, and I was, I did order it with another book, which is the, well, the Colouring, no, the Creative Haven um, Country Christmas, which came out the end of September, for some reason, I had, to, I had an email from them a few days ago saying that, they would not be able to get it, they were supposed to get it to me like last week but they would now not be able to get it to me to the beginning of December and I just cancelled it and found that it was on the book depository so if you want that book go to the book depository, don't bother with Amazon because Amazon's not very good at the moment with giving, maybe the US ones might be, if you order it on there and you're from the US it might be alright but the UK one is just atrocious at the moment so I wouldn't bother getting anything on there so I think if I can I'm going to get my books in the book depository now because they come quicker <laughs> they don't always have everything though anywho let me show you the picture i did in enchanted halloween i would have liked to have done and if this book had come earlier i probably would have done some more pictures in it however it did not so i only got a chance to do one picture in this one and i decided to do the trick-or-treat one um and obviously she's dressed up as, I don't know, like a fairy princess, I'm going to assume. So um, I used Prismacolors, I used the Arteza Real Brush Pens to do the background because it I didn't really need much for the background, so I just thought that would be easy, quick to do. Um, I used the drawing pencils to do her hair, though, I believe. Um, so the Derwent drawing pencils I did her hair with, but everything else, um, I used Prismacolor. And she has got stickles in the crown. And then I have got um, Spectrum Noir a glitter pen shimmer stuff on her dress. I decided not to do stickles because I just thought it would be a bit overboard. So, um, yeah. And then the, all the candy stickles as well. <laughs> um, so, potentially, like, I would love to do some more in this one. So, I know it's, like, not going to be Halloween anymore. So, potentially, I may... I really wanted to do this Day of the Dead one. But again, I'm, I'm not here, unfortunately, I'm on holiday during this period of time, so I'm not going to be able to do it. Um, so I may do a couple of these throughout the year anyway, regardless of the fact that it's not Halloween. But <laughs> I am one of those people that do try to colour the things in the seasons, but I won't always. Like, there are times when I will be like, nah, it's fine, I'll do that. But anywho, next um, I got the Creative Haven Autumn Scenes, which I was so glad to get hold of because no longer can you buy it on Amazon UK. <laughs> but luckily the book depository had it um, so I was like yes uh, so I managed to get this one because I debated about getting it last year and then didn't so again I can do a few more pictures in here over November because it's still technically autumn until December so I did this one I did this one with the pumpkin man so instead of the snowman he's a pumpkin man 
<laughs> and I thought it was quite cute. And it's got like a little horn of plenty and stuff. So I thought it was very autumnal and I thought it would just be a nice fun one to do. And I really enjoyed doing it. And I used the Arteza colour pencils for this one. And I thought that they worked really well. So yeah, as I said, that was really fun to do. And that's some that book um next i decided to actually tackle a double page double page spread in rhapsody in the forest this is one i picked up to try and do last year but it was nearer christmas time so i thought i wouldn't do it and you know i probably i don't normally always do double page spreads because they do take a long time but i decided i was going to do it um, even though I, you know, was working, I think I saw this before I had to go back to work because of my knee, because I was off for a little bit. I think I started it before I went. So obviously it did take me a little while to do this because obviously I could only do it when I came, when I was at home, which, um, so a few hours here and there in the evening I did a bit and then I did a bit when I was at the weekend. So it did take me quite some time to do, because obviously there's quite a lot of details in here. Um, so, you know, and that was fine. I didn't mind that it took me a little while, um, to do. I managed to keep going with it because that's the only downside I think sometimes a double page spread just trying having the momentum to keep going because sometimes it would take me such a long time and I would have only coloured like a few leaves in and that would be it and I was thinking I've just spent three hours and I've just coloured in a few leaves but anyway so I mostly used the um, luminance pencils by Karen Dash and some Pablos and then my super colour sauce came so I used them because I find the Pablos are too hard for this paper and the super colour sauce dry work really nicely um, so um, I used them, I did use them wet as well, so the background is the Supra Colour Soft wet. It's a little bit streaky though. Um, I did go over it twice here, but I just felt like it didn't really improve it. But it's not that bad. It's a bit tricky to kind of think about what to do for the background, if I'm honest. I added all the grass in because I thought that would be quite a nice thing to do. Because I, otherwise I kind of felt like it wouldn't really have anything. So um, I did the grass and then... Uh, I think that's about it really. I quite liked how my owl came out. Um, I just looked up a picture of an owl and then I had a go at trying to make him look like one and I feel like that worked really well. Um, so yeah, like in general, I'm quite pleased with how this came out and I'm glad that I decided to finally tackle it because last year I was going to do it but it was too late in the season and I thought this would take forever and I'd rather get started with some Christmas pictures. So finally I did this one. Okay, so next I have a picture from... Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Halloween coloring book. Um, so I, sorry, the phone is about that. The phone rang. Um, so it's fine. It's been picked up. Anyway, Jasmine Beckett Griffith Halloween coloring book. So I went to the Coloring Heaven um, event that was held on the twenty sixth of October in my city. Woohoo! So I didn't have to travel anywhere, and I picked up Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Halloween coloring book. This is one I wasn't actually always as massively keen on out of all her books just because I'm not into the spooky drawings as much but there are some nice pictures in here so I thought you know what this one's quite hard to get I think I do think you can get it as easy as you could do on Amazon UK anyway so I thought okay I'll just get it because there's a couple in here I liked so um I am glad I did although as I say I'm not into the spooky pictures and I do think because her style is quite spooky again this will be one where I'll be doing the, some of the pictures um throughout the year I won't just do them when it's Halloween. So I decided to do the Halloween cupcakes. Um, I used my luminance pencils on this, just luminance, nothing else. Um, and I used some of the techniques that we would learned to colour skin. So I am so proud that the skin came out really well. So I really am thankful for um, learning how to do that. Um, it just made me think more about the light source because that's what she was saying about using your light source and also reflective light. So I thought, okay, so that kind of helped me a bit. So this is kind of how um, she, this was following what she did with having the light source this way, so, um, or I think it was more maybe that way or I'm front, I'm not really sure, but either way, I kind of just followed how she was colouring, um, the person that we were colouring, so, uh, this, um, I then just applied to this picture, but we had a different picture that we had to use, um, and then I also tried to, I do do this sometimes, it depends on if I can be bothered, but I did do hair strokes. Sometimes I don't do hair strokes just purely because it takes such a long time and I don't enjoy doing hair strokes. I find it quite boring. <laughs> That's just me. Um, so if they're smaller pictures, then I don't tend to mind, but, um, I, you know, I did want it to have a more realistic hair look, so I did try 
doing that even though I really found it very boring and I hated doing it but <laughs> you know sometimes this is what you have to do for pictures so I won't do this all the time for all the people that I colour. So I just used Paul Rubens paint for the background because there wasn't really much to do. The only thing I found difficult was trying to figure out if this was meant to be her hair or dress but I turned it into her, her dress because I was just like I am not about doing more hair. Um, and then I have put some stickles on the cupcakes because on the little candy corns because I thought why not. Um, but yeah. I did enjoy that one and then the spider has got glitter on it as well because I don't really do spiders. It's a nice looking spider though, to be fair. And then I've used a white gel pen as well. So I decided I wanted to do um, like just normal buttercream icing and these are vanilla cupcakes. I don't do chocolate cupcakes really because I'm not a massive chocolate cake fan. I will eat it but I'm not a massive fan of chocolate cake so so sorry for all those chocolate lovers. I'm just not a fan. So I thought um, I would do them... Uh, like a vanilla sponge with just vanilla. They're just plain, plain cakes because that's me. I quite like a plain cake. Um, so that was quite nice to do. And then I've got my last picture which is The Flower Year by Layla Dooley. I finally did a proper picture in this one rather than just a little tester one. And I think hopefully I've got the little tag in the right place. Oh my goodness, I can't open it now. Um, so I did this picture for Oct October of the crab apples and I can't remember what the other things were. And I used my Albrecht Dura watercolour pencils and the Derwent ink tents for this one. And I think that's primarily what I'm going to use in this book um, is the watercolour mediums because it will make it a bit quicker to do the pictures because some of these have got quite a lot of details. But also I actually just quite like using them and I enjoy trying to make these look as realistic looking as possible actually. The crab apples, like there's various different types of crab apples that you could um, choose from. I chose this colour but you could have done more red reddish ones, red like reddish yellow but I decided I wanted to do the pale green instead. So yeah that was really fun to do and in the back of the book she tells you like what flowers and what... Um, fruits and stuff are in the picture which is so helpful so I could look up pictures for reference because I do want to make these look realistic so um, I'm hoping to do I'm going to try maybe see if I can do one once a month just because it would be nice to finish this one and I'd like to try and do it like one once a month from like the month so I'll do one in from November next time um, I just but you know I can't guarantee the, to myself that I'm going to do that but I thought that would be a nice thing to do because especially when I'm using the watercolour pencils like it won't take as long to do but I really did enjoy doing that and I know there's like a million leaves but when you use ink tents or what kind of pencils to do leaves it doesn't take as long <laughs> it's not as bad so um like I do quite like these pictures with the florals a little bit more because flowers are not as you know <laughs> annoying to color but I I did I really enjoyed doing that so um yeah and basically that is everything that I have colored the entire month of October so we will see what November brings. I'll still probably do some autumnal pictures. I've still got quite a lot of autumnal like picture things that I have pit pulled out. Um, I can't guarantee to myself that I'm going to do all of them because you know I th feel like I'm starting to get a bit over the whole autumn and a definitely Halloween phase now and obviously we're going into Christmas so I'll have a few Christmas ones I'm sure. I probably won't do too many Christmas ones this month but well not this month yet November but I'll do a few Christmas ones um for sure and yeah I don't know what else I'll do I'll just see what takes my fancy um so I hope to see you soon and I hope everybody's um had a lovely month and if you're celebrating Halloween have a happy Halloween hopefully it's safe for everybody um and I will see you soon so bye